You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of this are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign. But everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. Today is Lenten Friday. During this Lenten journey, we are invited to make a little sacrifice for the remission of our sins by abstaining from meat on all Fridays of Lent. This is a very little act of penance compared to the excruciating sacrifices of Jesus. Now, welcome back to our Gospel Reflection. The Jews took up stones again to hurl at Jesus. But for what? Jesus wanted to know. For the many good works from my Father? For blasphemy, the Jew said, because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. Oh, Jesus, these people did not really recognize you. They had eyes, but they deliberately refused to see you. They had ears. But they simply did not want to listen to you. But why? Because they remained firm in their own biases, in their own biased understanding of who or what God is. Remember their previous attestations that he is just a carpenter, a brother of so-and-so, whose sister they knew fully well? In other words, their inability to disengage themselves from their fixed mindsets and their prejudices prevented them from recognizing God in Jesus and from accepting His teachings. I also want to ask myself, what prevents me from truly recognizing Jesus in the day-to-day circumstances? What makes it difficult for me to acknowledge and appreciate all the blessings He showers upon me every day amidst puzzling situations? Is it doubt that despite unfavorable experiences, God's grace is still at work in me? Or is it my pride to admit that God speaks to me in various ways and means, even through trivial things, 
and less significant people? Or is it my negative thoughts and words that keep me from perceiving God's blessings? Lord, help me to see you and to recognize your gentle and still voice. Give me the eyes of faith to see you present in every ordinary event of my day. I believe that you speak to me in many ways. Increase my faith. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.